And good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Topping our news this morning, a police-involved shooting leaves a man dead in Delaware County. Authorities say officers opened fire after that suspect tried to run them over with his car. Eyewitness News reporter Jan Carabello is live at Upper Darby Police Department with more on that story. Jan? Nicole and Yuki, a scary scene for many people yesterday at the end of it all. A man was shot and killed by police in broad daylight. A suspect police say had a history of mental illness and a history of making threats against police. If you take a look at the video, you can see the scene as it unfolded. This police involved shooting happened just after 430 Tuesday evening near the intersection of Garrett Road and Shadeland Avenue in Drexel Hill. Police say 52 year old Joseph Pacini was fatally shot when he tried to run over officers with his car. But this all started, police say, after the suspect posted videos on YouTube threatening to kill police. Now, Haverford police had an arrest warrant out for Pacini for allegedly threatening one of its detectives. So officers went to his Clifton Heights home on Tuesday and followed Pacini as he drove to Drexel Hill. And that's where police boxed him in and the shooting unfolded. Take a listen. He's ordered out of the car. He puts the car in reverse. He runs into the police chief's car from from uh, Clifton and almost uh, struck several officers. The police then opened fire on the vehicle. This is my coming out party, okay? So, you wanna try to bring me down? I will kill you and your whole family, all right? So go ahead and with me. Now, that is just one of many posts posted by Pacini on his YouTube page. We're going to have more of those coming up in our next half hour. In the meantime, during this whole shooting, bullets actually hit nearby bank and medical office. However, no other people and no other officers were injured. We're reporting live in Upper Darby, Jan Carabello, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.